Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl. In this video, we're gonna talk about seven ideas for small businesses in 2019. This video is sponsored by The Great Courses Plus, and if you wanna hear those ideas, continue watching this video. In my life, I've tried two types of businesses. Um, the first one is when you master a skill, you build a community around it, you learn how to sell your skill and you just scale. And the good example is YouTube. I started YouTube, I scaled it, I built a community around it, I realized that I know how to build a scalable channel and I just launched my course and this is how I can make money and that would be enough for me and my family to make a living. The second type of business is when you build a platform that allows other people to make money. And the great example is Fluent.Express. I realized I have a problem that I still make mistakes in my written English. My team built a platform where we onboarded native speakers who correct the text in real time. And this way I allow native speakers to make money and I solved the problem, so I built a platform. And yes, because we had a tech team, because we knew how to build those products, we did it pretty fast, like three or four months. But we've built a platform before, the platform LinguaTrip. And I think the second type of business is when you can target like billions of dollars. Uber is the platform where you can make money. YouTube is a platform where creators can create. Um, Instagram, like all kinds of social media, all kinds of marketplaces is that kind of business. But I would always advise people to start with business number one, uh, like mastering skill and scaling it, and then go into the second type of business. because. It's crucial to try doing something yourself first. Okay, idea number one. I'm gonna talk from my own experience. I already mentioned that I've launched a course. I launched it in 2018. So I went back to Russia to visit my family and I met a couple of bloggers, like Russian bloggers, 100,000 subscribers on Instagram. And I'm asking them, how do you guys make money? And the girl answers, oh, you know, I teach people how to start an Instagram. I'm like, but you only have 100K. She's like, whatever, there are so many people who want to become a blogger. So I just teach them that. And I'm like, how much money do you make if you don't mind me asking? She's like, um, $5,000 a course. And I'm like, how many courses do you do a month? And she's like, minimum two. And I'm like, wow, that's a lot of money. So I listened to her and um, I'm surprised that people make so much money on just like online tutoring. And I'm like, why don't I launch a three hour webinar on how to start on YouTube? And I made a lot of money, like basically $10,000 or more. And I'm like, wow, this is a huge niche. Even if you don't have a lot of following, because I only launched that course in my Instagram. So I only announced it to the public on my Instagram. I was still, able to make that much money. So idea number one, if you've mastered a skill already and you are willing to share it with other people, start an online course. There's so many resources out there that you can use. Um, so go ahead and do it. Number two, you're like, oh, probably Marina is gonna just talk about blogging. No, I'm gonna talk about things that you can do tomorrow. That's actually a huge market and it's growing because people have less and less time to take care of their homes and the uh, skills called cleaning. Uh, like it took me a month to find a good cleaner here in San Francisco. And I finally found a girl who's really good, a really professional, she charges $120 to clean a two bedroom apartment and it takes her three hours to do that. So she charges like $40 an hour, which is like a, a developer charges that money. And we used to have a startup called HomeJoy where you could hire people online to clean your apartment or office, but they shut down. So there is so much demand for a good cleaner and I keep hearing people asking for that. So this is something where you can start, make some initial capital and then decide whether you wanna grow there and start your own company, like help people find cleaners or maybe just go and switch activity, but with initial capital, which is great. Business number three. Also, one of my friends is doing that. You've probably seen me um, wearing a golden moisturizing mask on my Instagram. This is done by my friend who's actually in tech. He's not an Amazon professional, but this is what he's done. He went to South Korea, visited some factories where he's found really good moisturizing face masks and bought them for like a dollar. And then he came back to America he shipped all of the masks 
and he's selling them for him like $16 a mask on Amazon. And what's cool about selling on Amazon, you don't have to have your own garage where you store everything and you don't have to ship everything. You just send it to Amazon and they do the rest. And your task is just to sell and collect reviews. That's it. And yeah, he's making a lot of money on those masks. He's still doing, he's been doing that for over a year. He's pretty successful. It's like a good side business because he's running a tech company. Uh, and this is something you could totally try. The next business, meal prep and delivery. Oh my God. Again, huge problem here in San Francisco. Huge problem anywhere. I miss homemade food. I cannot make my mom come from St. Petersburg to San Francisco and cook for me, but I miss homemade food a lot. And I would love to invite a person to come to my place every three days to cook uh, me a big pot of soup and maybe like fry some meat or whatever. But there is just no such service. So you could start, again, you could start on your own, uh, do some cooking and then grow your network, grow your network of cookers, grow your network of clients and build something on top of that. I think it's a great idea with a lot of potential. Again, people don't have time to even go to a restaurant because you have to wait. The next one is surprising, but it's actually trending like crazy here in Silicon Valley, which means it's gonna trend all over the place. Uh, it's um, bike rentals and scooters. The scooter business started in 2018. They had a lot of problems with law and regulations, but two companies survived. They have both acquired, I think they got acquired for like over a billion dollars and they raised like 200 million uh, acquired by like taxi companies. But guess what? If you're setting like a small shop, renting out scooters or renting out bikes, the market itself has grown 73% in the last 10 years. So if you have two options in the future, you either grow a profitable business, which is growing, or second, you get acquired by a big company, which is also a great option. You get your money and you're free. Another business, personal trainers and instructors. And again, with online, you have so many opportunities to train people all over the world. I'm doing this marathon. I paid like $49 for it, which is like a butt marathon. I'm training every day for like half an hour. And the girl who's doing that, she just pre-recorded all the courses. She's not even there. I'm just switching on her videos and she recorded like 35 videos. And I love to train like that because I choose my own time. We have a gym here at home and this is a huge future for all of your fitness trainers. Gym Ra is a great company which does all of the pre-recorded courses and it's a huge trend here in Silicon Valley as well because people don't have time to go and do their fitness. They just do a quick workout in the morning at home using a screen. So fitness instructors, yes, you can build your audience uh, with like real life training, but you can also go online and do your own course and make a lot of money. And the last but not the least, CPA accounting. Um, I cannot do my books. Well, I, I could potentially, but I know I'm gonna make so many mistakes and probably miss some things that would allow me to save on taxes. So I've been shopping for a CPA for a couple of weeks in 2018. My assistant helped me a lot. And we found a guy who's working with uh, creators, but that's a huge market. It doesn't matter that there's so much software out there that helps you optimize and uh, divide your expenses by categories because real CPA knows all of the laws that will help you save on taxes and that's why there is a huge demand for CPAs. But no matter what you do, no matter what kind of business you choose to start in 2019, what you really, really need is your leadership skills. Because it doesn't matter how profitable the niche is, if you cannot convince your buyers that you're the best seller, if you cannot convince people that you're a real expert, then nothing's gonna work. You have to show credibility, you have to create a great product, and you have to talk in a way that people want to buy from you. And I found a great course which is called Influence, Mastering Life's Most Powerful Skill. And I agree with it so, so much. It is taught by a PhD, by a real American. I think Americans are the best at influencing people. Just, uh, you know, all of the movies that we see are probably from Hollywood. All the music that we love is uh, like, mostly from America. So Americans are really good at influencing people and I think the best place to learn influence is from an American PhD. I love how online education is evolving and how you can learn from the best professionals in the industry. Great Courses Plus is a subscription on-demand video learning service with top-notch lectures and courses from top professors from the Ivy League. That's amazing about today's world. You don't even have to go to a top university to learn from top people. You just go online, take a course, and you get the best information 
in a condensed way so you can just apply it straight away to your course or your small business. Great Courses Plus gives you unlimited access to a huge library of over 11,000 video lectures about anything that interests you. Uh, in my case, I'm mostly interested in economics, marketing, all of that kind of stuff that helps you evolve as an entrepreneur. And they have a huge section on that. I would take the influence course. I would also take the like basic economics course because yes, you can do all the business, but I have economics background. I did my bachelor's. If you haven't done that, I would highly recommend just, you know, getting acquainted. What is market economy? How do, how do things work in finance? Uh, these are really good courses. It's just not just some Thing you can find online this is again by top professors if i'm giving you valuable information please show me your support by getting a free trial from the great courses plus subscribing using my link thegreatcoursesplus.com slash silicon valley girl that was it for me for today guys please let me know what do you think is the most valuable skill for an entrepreneur in my case i think it's sales and marketing because the rest you can hire people but it's really tough to hire a marketer who would sell your vision because you're the visionaire let me know down in comments below what do you think is the most important skill and please get your free trial on the great courses plus and let me know how that course worked for you i subscribe to this channel like this video and i'll see you soon in the next vlogs bye